What is going on everyone? Tutorial Tim here and today we're going to be going over this AI plugin called Wireframe Designer. It's powered by ChatGPT and it can help you quickly generate some uh, essentially some wireframes which you could then extract for various reasons such as uh, extracting some of the designs to be more responsive and also uh, eventually componentize them as well. It currently has eight UI components available so we'll go over all of those components starting with the top app bar and it'll take some time to generate but one thing to keep in mind is that this ends up generating a uh, an entire page so you're not just getting a top bar wireframe design it's it's essentially a, a page with a various set of content so there's like a bulleted list there's image tabs that also can be generated and here as you can see it has been completed this isn't the best generation uh, in terms of these lists but here you can see we have this top bar and it really varies in terms of the, the design that is output. So when I say that, I'm referring to some of this is, has auto layout built into it, and uh, some of it is just a frame. So for example, if I were to try and scale this, you'll notice that by default, all the content stays centered, uh, and there's no real uh, grids here that are generated with these wireframes. And we can go ahead and try another design. So another component that they offer is image tabs. Whoops. Here with the input image tabs, it generated a more, a more successful uh, design. And again, the designs varying in regards to whether they're built via frames or auto layout. Uh, this is also really helpful. This can kind of, you know, speed up your workflow in terms of, you know, adding auto layout to some of the stuff. Uh, you will have to kind of go in and tweak things if you wanted uh, certain elements to be uh, centered in regards to responsiveness. So uh, it really is up to you and how much time you want to spend. Uh, refining some of these layouts. Uh, there's also another variation where we have, say, a product review page. When these designs are generated, uh, do not get confused by the placement. So it'll it'll kind of place them on top of each other in the same position on the canvas. So you will have to move those around. Um, here's a product review page. You can see that um, there's a lot of good content here to work with in regards to your wireframe, which is extremely helpful. Um, and yeah, I recommend you go ahead and test out the other variations, whether it's uh, creating image banners or like some sort of splash page or a more text input oriented page for uh, representing forms via wireframes or some selection fields or full width buttons. Uh, this is completely capable of doing that and it will generate even more content as you can see here and With that said, this is powered by the chat GPT 3.5 model um, I hope you found this video helpful. Please share like comment and subscribe and let me know how you use this uh, Figma plugin. All right catch you in the next one